I... Today, a baby elephant named Jomar is arriving at our airport. I assign a reporter to get all the important facts and to write the story. Jomar is coming from India to his new home in Arzu. I also assign a news photographer to take pictures. The reporter and photographer will work together as a team. The reporter questions the man from the zoo. He takes careful notes on everything he hears and sees. Meanwhile, the photographer is doing his job. In the newspaper dark room, the photographer prints his best picture. In our newspaper library, the reporter looks up material about elephants. We have thousands of clippings and photographs on file here. A story about Jomar's home in India is coming over this teletype machine. The teletype receives news from all over the world. This machine receives pictures from far away. Here is Jomar with his mother in India. A copy boy delivers the teletype story about Jomar. Now the reporter has all the facts. He is ready to write his story. He puts the most important facts in the first few sentences. Then he adds the interesting details. While the reporter is writing his story, other people are also working. There are other reporters writing about the city schools, or the movies, or baseball, or what the president did today. There are secretaries. This secretary has just received one of today's comics in the mail. The cartoonist who drew it sells his comic strip to many different papers. The baby elephant's story is done. The photograph and story are brought to my desk. I approve them and pass them to the makeup editor. The makeup editor plans the pages of the paper. He blocks out each page on a special form. This is the plan for page 10. The Jomar story will go in the upper corner. In the lower corner will go the ad for the clothes dryer. The copy reader checks the words and the spelling, just as you check the stories you write. Then he writes a headline, a title for the story. Jomar is here. Now, Jomar's story is ready to go into the paper. It shoots through these tubes to another part of the building. Here, in the composing room, the story will be prepared for printing. This linotype machine sets the story in metal type. As the operator touches the keys, the machine forms lines of type, one line at a time.
After the story is set in type, a copy is made on a small printing press. Then the printed story is checked against the original story to make certain that there are no mistakes. Now Joe Marr's story is ready to be set into page 10. This makeup man follows the page plan drawn up by the makeup editor. He slips Jomar's story into the space planned for it. Next to the story, he fits the photograph. The sun heat ad is in the lower corner. Page 10 is complete, but a flat form will not fit on the big rollers of the printing press. The page must be changed to a curved form. A sheet of soft cardboard-like material, called a mat, is laid over the hard metal type. A roller presses the type into the mat. The mat is now an exact copy of the page. Now the mat is baked into a curved form. The mat comes out hard and tough. It has to be tough because this machine pours hot liquid metal against it. The metal quickly hardens into a perfect copy of page 10. Only now it is a curved plate, ready to go to the press room. In the press room, preparations for printing have begun. The rolls of paper are brought in. Printing a newspaper is a big job. The rolls of paper weigh almost a ton. and the ink comes in buckets. This yellow ink is for the sun heat ad. The plates come to the press room on special tracks. Page 10 is here. It is locked into place on the press. Warning light, the presses are starting to roll. The presses roll slowly at first, so the press men can make sure everything is working properly. This plate is printing the yellow sun. Then the black part of page 10 is printed over it. The press also folds the papers, and it cuts them apart. Each page is carefully inspected. All right, full speed ahead. Press men check the machines constantly.
the printed papers are bundled for delivery. They go down the chute to the delivery trucks. Newspapers are sold on the streets. Newspapers are delivered to homes. And they are read everywhere. Some people read about politics. Some are interested in sports. Some buy things that are advertised. And some will plan to visit Jomar at the zoo. When the day ends, the copy boy leaves my paper. I like my job, helping to bring the news to our community. <laughs>